Hi guys. All right, it's time to pull my half inch firewall stock out of the bag. These things are great. These make sealing the bag so much easier than that old sticky tape. Stuck to the bottom of the mirror. Guess we had some glue that uh, got away from me. The, uh, the breather parts. That was a wet layup. You can tell because this cloth, this batting material, is uh, pretty well soaked with resin, which is good because it took 360 grams of resin do this layup. But that's one of the great things about the bagging is you can squeeze a lot of that a lot of that excess out. Yeah look at that. It is just that's full of resin. All right. Now this, these look like air bubbles here, um, but they're not exactly. It's because of the the plastic breather. There we go. Nice. of the mirror. Oh wow, that's pretty light. Um, huh. I don't remember putting that down. Oh came from there. Okay. All right. It, wow. That is so much lighter than um, a piece of three-eighths or half-inch aircraft fly which is what we normally use for things like firewalls. I mean, it's not light light, but it's so much lighter than. Looks like it's about... Hard to say. There we go.
Yeah, about 720 grams. Okay, all right, we'll do cleanup next. All right, so what I do is I just run, I'll run this through the uh, bandsaw just to take off the edges. Okay, so we can tell from this shot that the parts did move a little bit, about an eighth of an inch, maybe 142 thousandths. Um, top side shifted, that's okay. Still got tons and tons of usable half inch plywood right now. Excellent. So, I'll sand off this edge here, and I'll face the whole thing, but there it is. We've got half inch, um, got enough material here for at least two airplanes. All right, later. Okay, so after all the cleanup is complete, you can see, you can see the layers in there. That middle layer of carbon is probably not necessary. You can see the all the the lines of um, these were where the holes were in that plastic sheet um, where the resin got sucked out and into that batten material. Now that's because I forgot to lay down peel ply. If I had put peel ply down between the carbon and that perforated plastic, then what I would have is a really nice uh, surface that is textured and doesn't need to be sanded or prepped in any way before I can start gluing to it. Um, in this case, you know, it'll take a little bit of sandpaper to, to knock off all these little nubs. No big deal. There we go. Looks good. Looks real good. It's nice and hard and light. And now that it's all cleaned up, turn on. Uh oh. And all the button. There we go. All the buttons work except for the. Uh, Except for the on off button. What are you doing? It's telling me 14,743. No idea what that means. There we go. What is that? All right. I don't believe that. There we go. 
grams. Six hundred and sixty eight grams. I don't know what that works out to. Divide by 28 and you'll know what, how many ounces that is, but it's a heck of a lot less ounces than aircraft ply. Later.